Chris Daughtry is finally on my channel and there's been some very sad news I've learned about him in an interview recently on YouTube where I came across an interview about this particular guy whom I've wanted to feature his music and the rock music on my channel for a very long time and then I learned that he has a daughter that has passed away and it was just so sad listening to him talking about it so even though I may be very, very late, my commiserations in advance to an artist I wanted to feature and then found this out. I feel in a juxtaposition, but I'm going to pay homage today to a very poignant and personal song called Pieces, which we'll talk about. Whether it's related to the actual how he is over what happened with his daughter, I won't know until I get to the lyrics because it really is as fresh and is new to me as I'm talking now. I basically just put this together and said, I have to do Chris because I have wanted to feature him for a very long time. I've been listening to his music for over a year personally, and I need to put him on my channel. So today is today. Welcome, Chris. He is Christopher Adam Daughtry, an American singer, musician, actor, and comic book artist. He is the lead vocalist and guitarist for the rock band Daughtry, which he formed after placing fourth on the fifth season of American Idol. Released by RCA Records, Daughtry's self-entitled album became the fastest selling debut rock album in Nissan SoundScan history, selling more than one million copies within five weeks of release. And you're going to hear why, because his music is phenomenal. And music's top selling album of 2000, way back in 2007. Now, the album was recorded before the band was officially formed, making him the only official member present on the album. In its ninth week of release, Daughtry reached number one on the Billboard chart, and Chris is the third most successful American Idol contestant in terms of record sales behind Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood, with whom both won their respective seasons. At the 50th Grammy Awards, the band was nominated for Best Rock Song, and the single was It's Not Over. Since the band's first album, Chris has collaborated with several artists, including Slash, Theory of Deadman, Chad Croger, Brad Arnold, Vince Gill, and Carlos Santana, amongst others, and Stephen Dust, sorry. He is known for his powerful vocal belting technique and wide vocal range. He's powerful, he's handsome, he's got it all, he's successful. And I'm just so, so sorry about what I recently heard was the loss of his daughter. I want to actually, um, that's right, Daughtry's stepdaughter Hannah died in November, it says here, in 2021. And in January 22, Daughtry and his wife said that the cause of death was suicide. That's right, it was, I, I listened to him conveying his thoughts on the whole thing i'm just so sorry for that i truly am anyway chris's influence it says back to his music include creed bush pearl jam alice in chains amongst others and he states that he grew up on on rock and hard rock music legacy on october the 18th 2018 daughter was indu inducted into the north carolina music hall of fame congratulations and Todd Pettengill stated in a January 2024 interview with the Daily Herald that Daughtry could be considered America's last rock star. I hope not. I hope not. But at the same time, I'm glad that he is a rock star because we get to savour this. I'll be back with the breakdown of the lyrics. What you're about to hear, by the way, is... <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. In pieces... The lyrics are delving into the themes of self-reflection, resilience and acceptance in the face of adversity and emotional turmoil. Take it away. Welcome, Chris. Daughtry and Pieces.
I have to say, Chris, you're exactly what I needed this morning. I tell you, going into the afternoon. Phenomenal. You are one of the artists I play a lot privately, and I tend not to bring the music that I play, play privately onto my channel because I'm inundated with requests from fans all over the world to feature their artists because people are starting to recognize that you're a pop music here. My channel is all about international artists. So therefore, it's nice to bring then my music and really mix it up. Personal favorites of mine. And that's what I've been doing over the last two weeks. Bring in a lot of classical music, a lot of pop music, and now rock music that I really enjoy because I love all genres. I really do, I'm not limited. But Daughtry and Chris, all I can say is excellent. It says in the lyrics, you never know what lies beneath the surface and what you'll find and it's worth it. Straight away, those lines suggest the uncertainty and complexity of life. And boy, has that hit Chris. When I saw that interview, I thought that poor man, he is suffering what so many people are suffering. Suicide is one of those things that cannot be explained. I'm going to just recall an instant. I know I don't know why I'm bringing Chris's personal life into this song when it's alienated, but bear with me on my train of thought here for a minute. I remember going to a very renowned psychic who could talk to the spirit world, and I was skeptical, but I went. And it blew me apart. The woman was blind. She's from Northern Ireland and she came down to Dublin and it was a packed house. And in the very, very corner, unnoticed, was a guy who was standing at the door. And I remember just turning around and I got a feeling, it's like a rush through me. And I turned around and I did notice him and he was holding a jacket. And remember, this woman was blind, and the synopsis is she was on the stage and she basically was able to talk to the spirit of the son who died by suicide. There was no explanation, he had a great life. He loved rock music, and he, hence the leather jacket he had in his arms, just a biker's jacket. And people all presumed that there was a fault in the bike and that there must have been an accident. He was trying to avoid something but she explained what hap what happened and then she said to the father i need to speak to you afterwards but he disappeared he disappeared he he i just remember turning around he wasn't there and that always stuck with me and then when i heard chris's story about suicide him being a, you know a rock star and the greatest, uh, one of the greatest Americans ever produced. I just feel, well, it's a bit like karma coming around. I was meant to feature this song. So that's my train of thought. But it, it says to live with broken pieces of me that were shattered, can't stop the bleeding. That imagery conveys to me a sense of deep emotional pain that Chris is going through and trauma and that he's trying to grapple with. And the reference to broken pieces, it symbolizes that internal struggle we all have, the difficulty of healing. We heal in so many different ways. We struggle in so many different ways, everybody. It's not always about the mental or the physical. It's a, it's just, it can just simply be, believe it or not, that you're, an, that you're born into a world where you're very sensitive and very emotional. And people don't understand people like that. that sensitive people that emotionally you almost say boo to them and they're, they're just scared of you, scared of a situation and it builds up in their mind and, and it makes them depressed and it causes mental illness. And the reason I mention that is because trauma comes from many different services, many different angles. Um, to be to a pair of ears in a situation like that for another person is usually all that they need. When they're grieving, when they're wanting to release that pain, they need somebody just to listen. So please everybody, if you've got somebody that's sensitive or somebody that's going through trauma like Chris has, 
and still probably is, and his wife as well, of course, his wife. I just want to say, be the ears for that person. Listen to them. That's Sometimes that's all they need to turn things around, to release their inner demons, their suffering, just to begin healing. Because it's almost like the lyrics express a sense of powerlessness in the face of past experiences and the need to come to terms with the scars they've left behind. Their overall theme and message of this is the song revolves around resilience, acceptance, the journey towards healing, self-acceptance. Chris has acknowledged the struggles and past traumas, recognizing that while he not, may not be able to erase the pain, he's learning to live with it and move forward. There are a lot of symbolism and metaphors in the song, the use of broken pieces, bleeding in the lyrics, you know, we've seen him bleeding in the video from the mouth. And that symbolizes emotional wounds, the inner turmoil of Chris's experience coming to the surface. Those kind of metaphors just highlight the struggles of dealing with past traumas and trying to move on despite the pain. Now, when it comes to the wolf in the video, I am very affiliated to wolves. I absolutely feel they're so misrepresented, uh, represent the, so the misrepresentation sorry of wolves in videos really galls me like they, they always have to make them snarling and vicious and look vicious i did see that in the video that kind of irritated me i admit that in the video but what it symbolizes really is they're a soul creature that so really it's accentuating chris's What's on fire at the moment is, is that passion to find healing. And the wolf represents that. It's as simple as that. There's, um, there are cultural historical references. The song, you know, um, themes overcoming personal obstacle, finding strength and vulnerability, that kind of thing are universal and relatable to many of us listeners and those that watch the video. My overall interpretation by, of pieces by Chris serves as a poignant exploration of those complexities we suffer of emotional healing when travesty hits us and of self-acceptance. In other words, we have to accept to move on. It's a song that encourages you, the listener, to confront their past traumas, acknowledge pain, and gradually learn to live with the scars you're suffering while striving to move forward. And it's also about, yes, the message of resilience, growth, and the importance of embracing one's imperfections as integral parts of your identity. I hope if you are going through trauma, you ring somebody, a counselor, a helpline, find a friend. I hope you find those ears that, that need to listen to your pain and release it, because by releasing it, you're on your way to healing. And that's what I wish for you all who are suffering. Thanks for listening. Chris, you shall be back. Peace is an amazing song. Poignant, powerful, amazing. What more can I say?